We would now like to start the regular press conference. Yes, regarding the measures to be phased in toward the resumption of international travel, which was decided at the NSC yesterday and the novel Corona Response Headquarters, for the time being, we will consult and coordinate with Vietnam, Thailand, Australia and New Zealand. And as uh, soon as we are ready, we wish to phase in partial travel on a trial basis. With the four countries, I had uh, telephone conferences with the respective foreign ministers and we have up to now proceeded with consultations and discussions and with Thailand as announced yesterday at the Japan-Thai Foreign Minister's Telephone Conference, it was confirmed that we would coordinate to build a system which would make it possible for essential business human resources to travel between our two countries. With Vietnam, as announced earlier, and I believe you have the handouts, we agreed that we would partially and in a staged manner relax restrictions on travel between our two countries. As to the timing of when we start, format of resumption of travel and the details, it is our intention to coordinate through diplomatic channels. We do not think it will take that much time. As for Australia and New Zealand, both countries have indicated their desire to prioritize consultations uh, between them and as to the form in which travel will be restored with the two countries, it is our intention to continue to coordinate. From the standpoint of putting the economy back on the trajectory of growth to the extent that it can be made compatible with the prevention of the respread of COVID-19, it is important that international travel be restored partially and be phased in. So we wish to continue to address the matter closely, liaising with the ministries, agencies and foreign countries concerned. This is what we have in mind. That is all from me. We'd like to entertain questions. If you have a question, uh, please uh, proceed to the microphone. Yamamoto from NHK. With regards to Vietnam, you said that it will not take so much time. Are you planning to uh, start the travel between the countries within this month? Also, are you talking about not just uh, travel from Japan, but also travel from Vietnam, that there will be mutual travel between the two countries? With regards to the timing, we are in the final phases of coordination. But uh, with regards to the travel, it's going to be mutual. Next question, please. Uh, Vietnam News Agency, please. I prioritize in the first place who, Could you, who when, when, when mm. Japan uh, remove the anti ban for the Vietnamese people and who will uh, prioritize who will be the first uh, to be uh, uh, to come to the, uh, Japan. I know. As uh, mentioned earlier, we will prioritize, uh, firstly, the four countries. But if things uh, go as it is proceeding presently, Vietnam and Thailand uh, will uh, have uh, sea restrictions lifted before, before Australia or New Zealand as to when and as to whether Vietnam or Thailand will come first. That is to be coordinated going forward. Abe from Yomiri. For countries other than uh, these four countries, Prime Minister Abe yesterday said that uh, gradually the other countries will be expanded. So in order to uh, strike the balance between uh, preventing the COVID spread and uh, expanding the uh, travel, uh, sorry, easing the travel restrictions will be quite difficult. So I would like to hear your thoughts on how the uh, rest of the countries will eased. So we will start with these four countries and uh, we will discuss uh, these countries as the highest priority. But we will consider holistically the status uh, of 
uh, COVID-19 within and out of Japan. And uh, we will uh, expand uh, this uh, travel ease on a step-by-step -step basis. Uh, first key is whether uh, the COVID-19 is under control or not. And also, we will need to consider the demand for business travel. And there are various other factors that we will consider, uh, and we will make a decision on a holistic and comprehensive basis. Next question, please. Harakawa-san, please. Uh, Sankei Shinbun. Harakawa is my name. Uh, yesterday, the Korean, uh, South Korean government, uh, uh, with regard to uh, semiconductor uh, foreign export control, uh, uh, has uh, filed a uh, complaint to WTO asking for setting up of a panel. And the Japanese uh, government has, uh, the Japanese government uh, protested. And uh, if you could talk about the present position of the Japanese government, uh, please. Uh, between uh, Japan and South uh, Korea, uh, between uh, export control authorities, in order to uh, resolve uh, the pending issue, we have continued dialogue. But uh, despite of this, uh, South Korea has uh, asked the DSV of the WTO to set up a panel, and that is uh, extremely regrettable, and we have conveyed this to South Korea. On our part, uh, in accordance uh, with the procedures of the WTO agreement, uh, we want to uh, appropriately appro uh, approach the issue. NHK, please. Yamamoto from NHK. Yesterday, in the Prime Minister's press conference, uh, he talked about the national security policy. He said that uh, in the NSC, uh, there will be a discussion on the uh, new direction for uh, Japan's national security. In the LDP, uh, it seems there is discussion on the offensive strike capabilities, and that uh, Prime Minister Abe also needs to consider uh, these factors. So I would like to uh, hear uh, your thoughts on the direction of these discussions. So the discussions will be held uh, going forward. However, as the national security environment surrounding Japan continues to become more severe, protecting the lives and assets of uh, Japanese people is a grave responsibility of the government. And we have been working together uh, with uh, the United States, who is our ally, and we have created uh, a national security structure that is seamless. In yesterday's press conference, Prime Minister uh, talked about deterrence and response capabilities. In order to strengthen uh, these, what should be done in order to protect uh, Japan? What needs to be done? And how should be the national security strategy going forward? Uh, we will have a thorough discussion in the NSC this summer uh, and draft a new direction and put it to action swiftly. This was the uh, comment by Prime Minister. And the uh, foreign ministry will work together with the relevant ministries and participate in these discussions. I do understand that uh, LDP uh, as a party has uh, various discussions, including a uh, capability for offensive strike. As the uh, prime minister stated yesterday evening, we will uh, consider uh, all of these discussions and uh, have the uh, discussions by the relevant ministries. Vietnam News Agency, please. Vietnam News Agency, please. Why did the Japanese government choose Vietnam among the first four countries to be re for removing uh, the entry bans? As you know, in Vietnam, COVID-19, uh, new infections uh, for a long time uh, has uh, been uh, zero and uh, it's uh, being uh, brought in check the virus infection is being brought in check and between japan and uh, vietnam there have been a, uh, there are needs for various uh, people's travel so uh, between uh, vietnam we want to strengthen uh, the strategic partnership from that perspective uh, partially and in a staged manner we want to resume uh, travel that is our thinking other questions please last question please IWJ Watarai, thank you for taking my question. So, easing the restri travel restriction for these four countries, 
the extent of the PCR tests, uh, there is a big gap between these four countries and Japan. So during the process of the negotiation, has there been criticism or, or some comments with regards to the PCR capability of Japan? No, no. I understand. Thank you. With this, we'd like to conclude today's press conference. Thank you very much.